Well, hello and welcome everyone. I'm your host, John Armas, otherwise known as Ace Bullion. Martin the Silver Trader sent me in this coin, which, well, is just exceptional. Um, and I'm going to tell you why in a short minute. But if you do like this coin and you want to buy one of these, check out the links down below. We can find the link to the silvertrader.uk. You could also find the link to the Precious Metal Forum. And you could also find a link to my own personal website, acebullion.com or .co.uk. Your choice. Um, anyway, don't forget about the giveaway that's going on. Um, there will be a link at the end of this video to help you out through that. And uh, stay tuned. We're nearing the draw, folks. So... Let's find out what this coin's all about, and uh, let me share some exciting information, because I actually, I'm, I'm excited. Here we go. So, another African wildlife series. Can you believe it's 21 years old? Now, I couldn't either, actually. This series began in 2004 and then later on in 2018 introduced a leopard now i have the 2025 yeah i know it's 24 at the moment but this is the first 2025 coin that i'm reviewing this year how exciting and it's actually not in the middle of january <laughs> Uh, but anyway, no, so on a serious basis, it is incredible that, you know, they produce these coins so far in advance because, well, they know that the adoring public and collectors out there will be buying every single variant possible or at least the ones that they're collecting. And, well, I can't blame them. So the variant statement in Munich has been minting these just now for a heck of a long time. And there's actually an, another name in uh, Munich for the whole proper thing. And it's all in German. I, I can't speak it, so I won't try to. But um, yeah, here it is. Now, it has a denomination here of 100 shillings. And it still is a rather contested thing. So whether or not this is a coin or not remains well, a little bit questionable because if you do a little bit of research, the Bavarian State Mint, we're not sure if they actually still hold anything or if they ever have held anything from the Somalian government or the Somalian Republic there. So that's a little fact and information for you. And I'm curious. I mean, I'd, uh, I'd love to speak to them. So the, <laughs> the rear has two uh, leopards, and as you can see there, has the spears and uh, the large leaves, which also represent like their own little shields in their own way. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Has a reeded edge going all the way alongside of it. And then we're gonna come to, of course, the main image, which is, of course, the elephant in the room. Boom, boom. Okay, I'm sorry, I had to say that. One ounce, Four nines fine silver, and of course, this is the African wildlife elephant. Now, it's always shown in a natural inhabitant, um, and they always try to, you know, show it kind of, you know, as you would see it in the wild. So, they've nailed it, as far as I'm concerned. Or have they? Let's have a look. So, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and... I'll try not to be as shaky. Apologies for that. Um, and what we're going to see straight away is there is something on the moon. Now, I don't think, or on the sun, I don't think that is intentional. I actually think that's an accident. That looks like it's a bit of overcast from the matting process, and it should have been cleaned up. You can see that there. And you can see why I'm saying that. In fact, let me zoom in a little bit more. And that does look a bit cruddy. Um, but will that deter people or will that enhance kind of the, the feature? You could also tell that it wasn't uh, designed to be like that because look at the elephant's ear. Again, it's moving on. And I'm just going to 
right that's to show you no dust and some parts as you can see there are highlighted really really shiny whilst other parts are glossy so and it only seems to be on that side so it looks like that was a little mistake i don't know if all of them are like that or not uh but there you go it was my first impression that i seen and i thought oh goodness me now we take a look here at the elephant itself and well it has lots of detail but again it has that kind of matted coat a little bit apt for it uh i might say uh because well of course an elephant is gray one would like to see you know kind of a grayish tone so it's almost as if they're colorizing the coin to some degree but they're not the background there just contains uh lovely um you know wildlife scenery um, it looks like this is probably in some of the dry season here because you got some of the bushes down below which well are empty either that or the elephant is you know completely eaten everything and some of them which are a little bit lush uh, you got the trunk and of course the elephant's tusks uh, which of course notoriously are you know have been used uh, commercially around the world for things everything from piano keys going way back to, well, medicines in China. Um, and there it is. It is remarkable. It's beautiful. It has a very powerful stance. You can see here that the overall back, you know, uh, of the coin is highly reflective. And I'm trying to not get it bounced in between the lighting. Uh, so you can just have a good look. It's not black as it's coming on my screen. It is... You will see it, it's very reflective, and you will see the elephant as it is here. Um, and you'll be able to see the details with your normal eye, um, you know, everything, including the trunk, etc. Uh, you know, the ripples on the trunk. Uh, obviously, it comes up much better under high magnification, but uh, there we are, that's what that is. So, these here are made and uh, the Bavarian statement does a fantastic job of this, uh, i.e. capitalizing on, well, now 21 years of success. Um, but they make it in everything from a kilo uh, of silver to gold, to colorized, to fractional gold, fractional silver, um, black and white, proof, you name it, they make these. And, of course, the one ounce BU coin. So... My question to you guys is, what are you collecting? What are you stacking? Um, have you been doing the whole series? Do you have all 21 of these? I'm curious to know what your thoughts and opinions are, what you're doing as far as your stack. Uh, obviously, I have not been around on YouTube for 21 years. I have been around for quite some time and, uh, you know, before 18, obviously. But, uh, yeah, this is well rather interesting so let me know what your thoughts and opinions are let me know what you're stacking and let me know would you be collecting this even if and i'm going to point it out again even if the sunshine uh has a little bit of that smudge on it thank you for watching everyone i'll see you on friday with uh, another video not quite sure what i'm doing yet but i'll see you on friday till then have a great day be safe be kind to each other Share some love around. Share this video around. I'll see you later. Bye for now.